Hey, one time for my niggas walk down the pit until the came home, got right back to the bread. Like a left with the nose, yeah, looking like a hoose. Keep some real ones with me, I be moving like two. Hit that super nigga music by the put on my cake. What you blowing my nigga? Hog get no breaks. Big smoke. What's up, bros and sisters, man? This is another episode of Spiritual Ventilation, man. Um, I'm about to go hard in the paint today. You're hard in the paint. Man, it's, syst it's, sy it's systematic, what you call it, systemic racism, systemic bullshit. It feel like, you know what it feels like? It feels like you know how you put a code in your computer, your laptop, your phone, and uh, it says access denied. That's how it feels every day living in a black man's shoes. That's how it feels every day. And sometimes life could be so frustrating as a black man. <sighs> It's, it's tough, man. It's tough. I'm going to put it like this. A lot of black people got hypertension, you know, high blood pressure, and we wonder where it comes from. It comes from years and years of being put under pressure, being denied access to everything Americans supposed to have access to. And, um, you know, but the, the main thing is you can't give up. You can't give up. I'm going to give you an example of this shit. I'm going to give you an example of this shit, man. Every day we get up, we got to handle our damn business. That's life. We got to handle our business, man. But then you got a white person saying, you can't you can't get that uh, you can't you can't get this because of this i don't give a fuck if you're trying to open a business uh you know what i'm saying you you got to have all your ducks in a row you got to have all your paperwork right and if you don't got all your paperwork right uh you ain't handled your business it's going to always come back on you and they know and they know if you're going to be a productive citizen you got to have all your ducks in a row and I feel sorry for those who have high blood pressure, hypertension, you know, because I'm just at the point in my life, you know, I'm, I'm not even rooting for no teams because, yeah, I got my blood pressure un under control. You know, my blood pressure, like I said in one of my previous videos, my blood pressure used to be like 140 over like 115, you know, and I was always worrying. I was, I was wondering why. I can't get my blood pressure down, but you know, it's it's a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to, you know, um, meditate, and you got to cut that switch off because it can be very detrimental to your health. I mean, I mean, I used to be at the point to where I used to bite my nails off, man. You know, my nerves were bad, and I feel like is my blood pressure is down now because I'm eating a lot healthier, and uh, you know I'm exercising. But that ain't enough because you got to think this is years, this is layers and layers of things that we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? You get one thing off your plate, and then you got other things that's added to your to your situation. So it just depends on where you at in your life. You know what I'm saying? You just basically you just have to free your mind. And you have to free yourself, you know. Um, all I can say is, all I can say is, um, you know what I'm saying. You have to, you have to really praise God, and 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 focus. And that's the main thing. What's up, bro? You have to maintain your 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 spirituality. You have to focus, and you have to free your mind. Of the mental slavery. I mean, shit. Look at this. Look at my shirt. You don't think all these brothers and sisters went through it? They all went through it. All of them. All of them. You know what I'm saying? God's gonna break you down before He builds you up. 
For real talk. He's gonna break you down before he builds you up. But uh I don't know, man. It's like reason why I feel like it's uh it's systemic, because with black people having hypertension and we're denied access that all other races have access to, we tend to get frustrated. You know, black, you know how black people are. We'll, we'll fly off the handle real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got low tolerance for bullshit. Low tolerance for bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I, um, let me say this, let me say this. Let me, what am I, what am I trying to get at? Let me think. With this systemic racism, you have the devil hitting you from all angles, all angles. This is with the medication. This is with the housing. This is with the employment. This is with certain financial perks that we supposed to get, but you have to bend over backwards to get them. You know what I'm saying? They got business grants for all type of blacks if you're trying to open a business. But guess what? You have to have all your ducks in a row. And it can be frustrating. It can be frustrating. As a child, I used to play video games. Shit, I played a game with my son the other day, man. And I ain't no sore loser. I ain't no sore loser. But guess what? I noticed as I was playing a game, I got frustrated. And I was fucking winning the game. I'm playing, I'm playing 2K, I'm playing the Madden, and I'm getting, I can feel my anxiety going up, and I'm like, what the fuck? I had to take me an ibuprofen, man, you know what I'm saying? And this is to all the brothers and sisters that, that feel me, though. I mean, hypertension amongst blacks, man, it gotta be like 70%. It has to be like 70%, man. And we have to, take better uh, care of ourselves, man. We gotta eat right, we gotta think right, and we gotta do right. That's if you wanna live longer, <laughs> you know. I can't even, I can't even go to a, a basketball game. Shit, I fuck around, be, be cheering for my favorite team. And if they start losing, I ain't trying to have no stroke. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the model, the name, the motto of my channel is the brighter you shine, the more you influence. Let's grow together. So like I said, the more y'all tune in to me, y'all gonna see my spiritual growth, man. You know, even these phones, man, even these cell phones. It's 4G, 5G bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember they had pages? You wasn't stressed when they had pages. Before all this internet shit, we wasn't stressed out. You wasn't stressed out. It's all this technology is putting all this pressure on us and we getting you know we getting all this technology at a high at a high rate so our brain is downloading all this information and with this information it comes viruses so as you know a, a computer you have to put your spyware in it to get all these viruses out of it so basically we have what's up bro we have all these viruses that's in us through this 4G and through this 5G and uh I mean basically if you don't get your spiritual sh armor on you you are gonna get to catch a virus and we ain't talking about this coronavirus man we ain't talking about this coronavirus man it's deeper than that man shit I mean that's fucked up when a cell phone can make you frustrated if yo if yo uh if your data ain't, ain't fast enough and you sitting there trying to look for information and it's like, it's hitting you with access denied and then you have to, you know what I'm saying, refresh your phone and it's just acting too slow. Man, they trying to kill us, man. <laughs> they trying to kill us, man. So pray up, exercise, eat right, think right, and do your brother right and just, just lead by example. You don't need, you don't need gotta say too much. Just lead by example. Salute. God bless y'all. You have a blessed day.